Good evening. A man from Glastonbury who has been in a detention centre for two weeks has in the last few minutes been released. Kenneth Macharia, who's been in the UK for a decade, was attending a bail hearing in London when he heard the news he's been waiting for. Well, our reporter Ellie Pitt is live outside the detention centre. Ellie, you are with a very relieved Kenneth and his rugby teammates tonight. John T, that's absolutely right. With me is Ken and the relief is palpable. Ken, tell me how you're feeling right now. I'm very happy. I'm very grateful to my friends for supporting me and without their help I will not be free today. So I'm extremely happy to be out of the detention centre. Tell me a little bit about what the last two weeks have been like for you. Uh, the first day was extremely traumatising. I was extremely stressed. I was thinking that they had said on Monday, from Monday 5 p.m., they would put me on a plane and deport me. So that was a real big worry. I was extremely anxious. Uh, when they sent the cancellation of uh, removal, I did feel a bit of relief. And I was believing they were not attempting to remove me. I was believing that the efforts of everyone had worked out. However, last night when I saw the bail uh, summary from the Home Office, the fear came back and the anxiety came back because I realized the Home Office are still intent on deporting me and they were opposing my bail today saying that my deportation is imminent. My removal, sorry, my removal is imminent. And you're worried about that because going back to Kenya, to you, means persecution. Now, some people say that there haven't been prosecutions for a little while and that the laws look as though they might be about to be relaxed in Kenya. That's on the horizon. But you say the threat is real for you. Well, it is real. Even the Home Office have a document they call Country of Origin Information in which they say that they do mention two recent cases of people being prosecuted for... Uh, for, for under what they call 162 and 165, the, uh, the, the anti-gay law in Kenya. Plus, this morning my mom did send me a link showing that there were people arrested uh, quite recently, maybe today or yesterday, for an NGO people were arrested because apparently they were promoting homosexuality in Kenya. And why is it really significant for you now, briefly? Uh, because right now I'm more known. It has been reported in the media in Kenya, so I'm really fearful that initially I thought if I was forced to, I was removed by force, I could go in Kenya and hide who I am. Now that is not a possibility, so I'm more worried than before now. Fantastic. Yeah. And, you know, that's, that's, that's an awful situation, but fantastic for you now, Murray, to have him back in your, in your arms and, and here with the rest of the guys. What happens now? OK, we're all over the moon and we can't believe... I cannot believe Ken is standing here next to me after the last two weeks. But I think it's very important to note that this is just the first step. It's a hurdle that we've crossed. It's a victory which we're all pleased about. But we need to raise some money. We have a crowdfund going to raise some money. Ken's a very humble person, so he's not going to ask for it. So I'm going to say we need to raise some money to raise his profile and to get him to stay here permanently in the UK because that is by no means certain at this stage. But right now with the guys, it's just tonight. <laughs> Tell me what you're going to do now. The happiness. I can really, you know, as soon as you came <laughs> Now you were hugging, it felt fantastic. It's amazing, we're going to celebrate. It's, a, it's been a lot of work to get him here, we're going to celebrate. We're over the moon. Yeah, absolutely. Brilliant, yeah, yeah. brilliant. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, thank you. So it's been a tough few weeks for Ken, but now there's a brief moment of calm uh, over the next week where he can relax and enjoy this time with his friends. Okay, Ellie, thanks very much indeed, Ellie Pitt there.